right, so in reading today, we're going to do a few pages in our journey textbook, but before we do that, we're going to talk about adjectives. What is an adjective? So far we talked about nouns, those are people, places, and things, and verbs are things that you can do. Does anyone know what an adjective is? Anyone the word adjective? An adjective. An adjective is a word that describes something. So like if I said the goldfish, what would be the adjective in there? It's describing the fish. What word? Caitlin? Gold. So adjectives are words that describe nouns. Okay, words. You don't have to write this or anything. That describe nouns. So there are lots of different adjectives. Adjectives can be number words like there were five yellow ducks, like the word five is an adjective. They can be color words, like yellow or green. Those are describing words, they're telling you about something. They can also tell you about like the size or the shape of something, like it was very big, or the cat was very chubby. <laughs> Or it was very like soft, like it can describe how something feels, like the dog's fur was soft. Or the rock was very hard. So the adjectives are words that describe nouns. Okay? So all of these are examples of adjectives. They can also be words um, like that describe its like shape, like for like um, like the round basketball, like the word round is an adjective. All right, so those are just a few examples of some adjectives. So but there are tons of different adjectives. Those are just a few. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. Now I want you to get out your journey's practice book, and we're going to take a look at page 47. It's talking about adjectives for size. We're talking about the size of things. So it says, listen to the adjectives, read along, and circle the adjective that describes what the picture shows, and write the adjective. So number one. I know I think the shirt is talking about the kittens in there, or it's talking about the dog. So we have two little kittens sitting in a, sitting in a basket. And we have the word small and we have big. So, so it is supposed to describe the kittens. Are they small or big? Miles. Small. So you're going to circle the word small and write small on the line. It's describing the kittens in the basket. They are small. Number two, we have a like a big loaf of bread. Is it long or short? Pardon? It is actually long. That one it wants you to write long. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kind of hard to know what it wants. Like a long piece of bread. Yeah, so it's a big like like a long baguette or like a French what about number three? Is this building, is it very narrow, like skinny, or is it very wide? Is it all? Wide, it is. Good. These are all adjectives. They are describing different nouns. What about this man? Is he short, or is he very tall? Jordan? Tall, yes, he is very tall. Maybe so. He looks very tall. Like Mr. Yeah, 
Yeah, he is. I don't think he can fit on this little velvet top. <laughs> All right. So those are just a few different adjectives. So we have small, long, wide, and tall. Okay, so there are those ones. All right, on page 48, now it says, using words that are just right. It says, cross out the word that is the same in each sentence. Listen to the words in the box. Read along and write a better word from the box. So in the box, we have the words busy, round, large, kind, new, square, sweet, tall. Those are all adjectives. Some of those we just talked about or we just wrote on the last page. So, in each of these sentences, there is one word that we're going to cross out and rewrite, like, use a new word from up here to make it a little more interesting of a sentence and make it a better sentence. So, in every sentence, I want you to find the word good and cross it out. So, good, we're going to cross out good right in front of market. There's also a good in front of the word apples. There's a good in front of the cake. And there's a good at the end of that sentence. So you're just going to cross out the word good in every sentence. Okay. Now, we're going to go through and we're going to replace each of those words with a new word up here. That way it can make better sentences. So, number one, our town has a blank market. What word from up here could we use instead of good? Good. A new market. Yeah, you could say a new market. And write the word new on the word. And I'm going to cross out the word new up here because we're not going to use that one again. We're going to pick different ones. Number two, mom and I get blank apples there. What word could we use instead of good? Caitlin? Sweet apples. Mom and I get sweet apples there. Good. W-E-E-T. Sweet. Number three. We got a blank cake for Dad. What can we use to describe the cake? That is saying good. Mason? Yeah, busy, round, large, kind, square, tall. Large. We got a large cake for dad. Yeah, we can say that. We got a large cake for dad. Good. What about number four? The man that helps us is blank. We have busy, round, kind, square, tall. Jordan? The man that helps us is busy. Um, let's do something different. Because if he's helping them, then he's probably not too busy. What's the thinking now? Oliver, what do you think? Tall, yeah, we could say tall. We could even say kind. Yeah, you could put tall or kind. I'm going to put tall. All right. So those are just different adjectives that we can use that make the sentence a little bit more interesting instead of saying, our town has a good market. Mom and I get, Mom and I get good apples there. We got a good cake for Dad. The man that helps us is good. That's kind of boring. Saying good over and over and over. Too many goods. All right. So you should have new, sweet, large, and tall. Or if you want to put kind on here. All right, let's go on to page 49, please. Oh, that's fine. 49 says, we are talking about the consonants K, V, and J. It says to name each picture and think of the beginning sound. Write K, V, or J. Yes, Miles. Oh, you're giving one minute. So it's good. What about this picture, Miles? What is this one? Height. Good. Is it K, V, or J? Hey, height, k, 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 good. So you're going 
put a little pay on the line. Try to use your best handwriting. Okay. What about picture number two? What is that a picture of, Isabel? What'd you say? A jet. Good. Is that K, V, or J? J. Good job. A little J. What about number three, Adam? A vase. What letter does that start with, Adam? A V. Good. Yeah, if you did it already, that's fine. What about number four? Oliver? Jam or jelly? Good. Oliver, what does that start with? K, V, or J? What'd you say? Does it start with a K, a V, or a J? J for jam or jelly. Good. What about number five? What is that a picture of, Amelia? Van. What does that start with, Amelia? V. Good. Van. This is pretty easy, isn't it? What about number six? What is that one? Um, Claire. Number six. A T. Is it K, V, or J? Hey, think the key. Good. <laughs> what about number seven? What is that? Spellings? A vet. Is it K, V, or J? V. Good. Yeah, the dog is after vet. Being the veterinarian. Number eight. Kaden? A king. What letter is that start with? K. Good. And the last one, Owen. What did you say? Jeans, is that K, V, or J? J for jeans. Good job. All right. And that's the last page in our Journey's Practice book that we're doing today. And you can actually, on page 50, hold on, I'm not done. Listen. On page 50, you can cross this out, and then we're going to tear out the pages that you did today. Okay, so 50, 47, all the way to 50.